Well, but, Governor, uh, while, while we're waiting on our other guest of honor, Mike and his staff uh, have done a heck of a job at this park. Um, I was I was talking to them earlier. You know, when you were elected, you had a, a directive to that we were going to we were going to change the face of West Virginia through tourism. We were going to start with our state parks, and we will have been invested during your administration over 150 million dollars in our parks. Um, at uh, at Lost River, uh, we have invested over four million dollars so far. Uh, and I know you want to talk a little bit about that today, uh, and we're also here today to recognize the, uh, the family that, that donated over 200 acres to the park as well. So here is the, the most famous dog in the United, probably the world. Hi, baby. Uh, uh, just get up in your chair now. Let me put her in there? No, you, uh, you, yeah, well, let me get her, because she, she's a little heavy. Come on, baby, you can make it. Good job. Well, go. Uh, Y'all got to come by and see her in just a minute. She slobbered all over my coat and everything. <laughs> now she'll stay right there. Uh, Steve, go ahead. Okay, so. Um, so I, and and what I'll, I I love it when the governor gets to come out and visit the parks. Uh, you know he's he he put his money where his mouth was. He he started from day one, and uh, Lost River is one of those places. Uh, governor, they started building cabins here back in 1939, and uh, they built several more in the 1950s, and then in the 90s they built a couple, but there'd virtually been nothing done here. Um, the galvanized water lines were over 70 years old. Uh, they hadn't put any money into these these classic cabins that were built right here from everything on the ground. And uh, like I said, during our administration, we'll, we'll have invested over four million dollars to remodel all the cabins. We have broadband now in all right. all the cabins. So, um, really but, really. but I wanted to give you an opportunity to come up and see it and, and talk to these folks about it. And 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 as and as they know, and I know you know. Um, recently, from your from your surplus budget, you know we're we're working on the campgrounds you ordered us to build. Um, we all the engineering is being done right now, and we're hoping to put that out to bid right after the first of the year. It's good stuff, and really good. You know, um, all of you work really hard, and all of you know how beautiful this state is, like me. You know. If you just look around, I mean, really and truly, uh, it's always the same, you know. The thing I always do is I always just speak the truth and speak from my heart. And uh, I, I say this over and over, but it's the absolute truth. You don't know anybody that's been in the woods more than me. There's no way. Uh, and I love it. I absolutely love it. This state's, this state's beauty from the standpoint of its mountains and its woodland and its streams and everything, its waters are just unbelievable. That's all there's to it. And uh, God knows, you know, before I got, when I had brown hair and I was skinny especially, I could fly across these mountains and everything. And, uh, and then I got broke up a little bit. And so... So with all that now, I still go, you know, I go really on a side-by-side -side with a bird dog in front of me, and I'm still trying to chase grouse around and everything, and they're tough to find. And, I, and, and I've adapted now to bow hunt because it's a whole lot easier. And, uh, but in all of that, you know, you never lose focus with just how blessed we really are. Now with all that, you know, along comes a, a, a man that, you know, I didn't really know Steve, but I really lucked up in getting Steve and Chelsea both, and and you know just all the people that have made the licks really, really happen. You especially, really and truly. What we needed to do in West Virginia was just tell our story. That's all there's to it. We just needed to tell our story. You know, it. Uh, it's a shame. The condition that we let everything get. I mean, you say what you want, but years and decades and decades of neglect and just really not being 
what I always called proud of your own pond. You know, that, uh, you know, the old saying, you know, you're not much of a frog if you're not proud of your own pond. Well, we, we let ourselves get this way. So, you know, through tourism and the DNR and all the stuff, and I may have said DHH, I don't know, did I say DHHR? I don't, I, well, anyway. <laughs> but but through, through all that, we absolutely started down the pathway to try to be proud and try, try to put real money in behind what we're doing and try to, try to make the change and see what would happen. And lo and behold, what happened? The entire universe exploded, did it not? I mean, and it continues to grow and it continues to just explode. And so all the things that you're doing, campsites, all the different stuff that you're doing now, in addition to all the remodeling and all the, you know, and, and Steve just said this, but all the parks, I mean, look at the roads. I mean, look at the roads in our parks and everything. And the highway department and all the great work that they've done there. Look at your water. Look at the broadband. Look at all the different things that you've got going on right here. And, uh, and it just gets better. Now, in all honesty, we've, it, it, it was difficult, really difficult. But, but you know, I don't want anything. You know, I, I don't really care if you're a Democrat, Republican. I'm not a politician. I'm not anything like that. All I want is goodness. And that's what you got going on right now. And we just want to make it better and better and better. You know, because really and truly, you deserve it. And the people of this great state deserve it. You know, I, I just read a thing here. I think it said 9 million people visit our park or are going to visit our parks so this new year. Record, new record, over 9 million. So just think wow. about that. Nine million people visited our parks. Crying out loud, it's it's a it's a resource that's off the chart, and we just let it go. So we're not going to do that now, and hopefully we're going to put ourselves on a pathway with the surpluses that are going on and everything else. We're going to put ourselves on a pathway to where we've shown people how to do it, and now all they got to do is run the play. So when I'm long, long, long gone, hopefully they'll run the play. And, uh, and to the family that's donated land and done all this stuff here, and I think it's a Nepper family, is that correct? You know, yes. you know it, uh, your gifts and what you're doing is surely noticed and surely appreciated. So, I, I mean, gosh, it's, uh, it's a wonderful state. You know, surely, I'm sure, a wonderful, wonderful area. I've not been here before to the, today. But, uh, but really, its treasure is right here. You guys. That's all there is to it. And, and, and your heart and your generosity is really appreciated. Really, really appreciated. So I'll, I'll end by, you know, with that and ask and answer any question or whatever like that as best I possibly can. If y'all want to ask me something, listen, I'm just Jim. A lot of people, a lot of people say he's as common as an old shoe. Well, it's not real flattering, but that's just me. And that's all I want to be. That's all in the world I want to be. So uh, ask me something if you want. If you don't, baby dog, you'd like to see you. <laughs>